Claudia and I'm finally back. I'm here with a Sunday haul for you guys. Um, I'm going to be having hauls, um, first impressions, uh, stuff that you see here will be first, uh, first impressions, and then a few things that I'll tell you about that I've already used because I couldn't wait. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have a lot more videos for real this time, and let's just get into it. So, uh, drugstore, lips. I am obsessed with these Milani, what are they called? Liquid Color Lip Intense. This one is Violet Addict. This one is Fiery Coral. And this one is Red Extreme. Oh my god, these are so beautiful. Obsessed. If you have not picked these up, go check them out. I got mine, buy one, get one, 50% off. But still, if they're not, they're only six bucks. And they're totally worth it. And to go with that is the... Um, it's called Milani Anti-Feathering Lip Liner. And this is a lip primer and line filler. And for this, it really helps. But this thing is amazing for anything else you wear. Especially like when I'm wearing matte lips right now. I should have done it, but this is so good. So anyway, go get these. The next thing that I got from the drugstore was a, my very first um, NYX Soft Matte Lip Color. And this one is in Antwerp. And that's actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I should have used this together because my lips are a little dry, but I just was so like, I need to use this right now. So that's what it is. This was only about six bucks at CVS. So go check that out. <clears throat> Next thing that I bought is a repurchase. And this I bought probably about three times now. And this is the Kate by Rimmel. And it is the 101. And it I've used it already, but it's just like a perfect pinky nude. So it's absolutely gorgeous. And let me actually swatch all the colors that I've shown you that are from drugstore. And I'll let you know exactly what the colors are. Because they are absolutely gorgeous. These are all the Milani. Sorry, I'm a little rusty. I haven't been here in a long time. And a little bit shy, so forgive me, guys. So, let's see. These first three are going to be the Milani. And that's the Fiery Red. And this one is the Fiery Coral. And this is the Violet Addict. So these three are Milani. This one is the Rimmel 101. And then this one is the one that I'm wearing right now, which is the NYX in Antwerp. The next thing that I got is actually high-end. It's from Tarte. And I like these lip surgeons ones. And this one is the Natural Lip Lusters. And I like this for work. I kind of just throw it on and uh, it just looks really pretty. I don't know what the color is. I don't know. But it's a really pretty, like, I'll swatch it for you. Kind of like pinkish, reddish gloss. And for me, it wears a long time, and it's really pretty. And I've had this for a while. Now it's probably been like a couple months, and this is all I've used. So I really like that. And then the last thing that I have for lips is my repurchase, which is the Vaseline Lip Therapy in Rosy Lips. And it looks like that. And I love this stuff. If you haven't used this, use it. It's perfect. So that is everything for my lips. Next, let's go to eyes and eyebrows. So I picked up for eyes, I got these at Ulta, and they're the Ulta Automatic Eyeliners, and I got one in olive, and then one in grape. And I just, you know, for the pop of color, I decided that these were going to be good. I got them on sale, obviously I've used the purple more. They're just really awesome, creamy, pigmented, look great as the pop of color under your eyes right here. And this is the grape, and this is the olive. And I'm really liking these. I don't know what the price is um, originally, but I did get them for probably a dollar or two. So I got a good deal with that. Um, the next thing that I got was the Milani eyebrow set. And I got the Milani um, Easy Brow. And I really like this because it was like a thin little um, pen at the end. And I like that it has the spoolie. The spoolie is nice and thick and like sturdy. So I thought that was nice. It reminded me of the Anastasia without paying the price. 
I don't have the Anastasia, so I can't tell you if it's the same or not, but I will give you a review when I do actually, you know, use it and everything. Obviously, I don't have anything on my eyebrows right now, so I'm going kind of natural, just a little bit of eyeshadow, cheeks, and lips, and that's it. No foundation, nothing else. Um, the next thing that I bought was the uh, Milani Brow Wax. This stuff is amazing. Seriously. I if Even if I don't wear anything on there, I'll put this on there, and it keeps my eyebrows all day. This is beautiful. You should go pick it up. And then the last Milani brow product is the brow shaping gel. And I really love this too. And I love that the actual brush is tiny. So it's easy to get in your eyebrows. And it doesn't cake up and it doesn't kind of like look all crusty or anything. So I really like this a lot. So that's pretty much it for eyes. The next thing that I have is for the face. So I've been going through a whole bunch of foundations. The first one I'll go through is one that I got 50% off, and this is the CoverGirl Clean Whipped, and my color is 342, and I just picked this up. Um, it was 50% off, so like for three bucks, I couldn't resist, especially to do a first impressions. That's what it looks like. I have not tested it out yet, but we shall see. So that's the first thing that I got. The second thing is new but a repurchase. I had purchased this one just to try out and it's the CoverGirl True Blend. And I believe this is just repackaged, but let me tell you, the repackaging really brought me in because I do like the pump and the way it looks. It's more clean and sleek. Um, I got the M5, which is what matches me exactly at this point right now on my neck and everything. Um, and this is my second bottle of it. And because this is my second bottle of it, I decided that for summer, especially because we're gonna start swimming and everything, I decided to go with the next two shades up because that way I can mix it or, you know, use one or the other and, you know, have my perfect foundation for the summer. I am really loving this. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, to apply it, what I do use is the um, Real Techniques uh, Beauty Perfecting Sponge. It's, oh, it applies and looks so beautiful. It looks so natural. It is just a tiny bit dewy. It's kind of like a satin ish dewy finish it's beautiful i have a dry skin for the most part and just kind of oily right here so i mean this i have never had a foundation that looks just like this so that's why this is actually my second tube and i love this so if you are dry skin try this out and definitely get a beauty sponge and try it out it is absolutely gorgeous um the next thing that i have is the youthful wear from physicians formula and this I have not tried out yet, but supposedly it is a spotless foundation and brush. Obviously, that's not supposedly, but what the supposedly is, is 100% of people brought, uh, saw brighter skin, 90% of people saw uh, less sun damage in two weeks, and then in three to four weeks, less um, dark spots, and then 100% of people in three weeks saw less deep wrinkles. So, you know. I'm getting a little bit older, you know, I'm not old, but I'm getting a little older, I'm not in my 20s anymore. Anyway, so I kind of just want to, you know, I don't feel like I, I look old at all, I don't feel like I have wrinkles or anything, you know, for the most part, unless I make like a smile line or something, but I just want to make sure that, you know, I don't have that wrinkle at one point or another. So I figured, you know, let's try this out. And I will show you that I do like, I know a lot of people don't like the seam reviews for this. They don't like the little pore spout. Looks like this. You're supposed to shake it up. It does have um, mine's in medium and it does have 15 SPF and when you open it up it's kind of like a serum little pump and I do like that. I mean I don't understand. People are like oh it's not hygienic. I watched a few people where like they take it and they put it all over the face and you know, kind of like um, you just pump it and then you put it in the back of your hand why do you, you know, why do you have to put this thing all over your face? But anyway, to each their own. Um, what I would do is just shake it up and put it, you know, on my hand and then apply it that way. Um, the brush, you're supposed to apply it right to the brush. And I don't know about that. This brush is really, really tiny and actually really, really stiff. I don't think that I could use this brush to apply any kind of foundation. I mean, it's really, really tiny. I think it would take a long time. Honestly, I think I would use this brush more for like a contour, you know, like a like chiseled out contour, um, but not so much for foundation. 
And I will tell you that um, I have not actually put this on my face, but I did, I intended to. So what I did was put a drop on here and this was a week ago. You can't even tell that that drop was in there. I mean, I literally put it in and I have no idea where it disappeared to. I mean, it's gotta be like in the bottom of the ferrule. So I don't know, obviously you wouldn't put enough product on your face and I don't know how hygienic this would be. So for me, this would not be anything that I would use um, liquid or cream with. I would use this, oh, maybe actually I would use a cream contour or powder, but that's it. I would not use this with this. I would probably use my um, Real Techniques um, buffing brush, or is it the all-purpose brush? Or I would use my Sigma blending um, F80 Kabuki brush. Um, but honestly, what I really love is the Real Techniques sponge. So that's what I would use. Um, the next thing that I bought, I've actually used quite a bit. I've had this for a while, you can tell. It's been in my purse. And this is the CoverGirl True Magic Skin Perfector. And it's in 100. And it's actually completely clear. And it's like this like satiny feeling amazingness. For me, I have dry skin and this doesn't make me look cakey. It doesn't look me, make me look dried out or anything like that. I just put a little bit, sometimes I'll put a little bit under my makeup and sometimes I'll put a little bit over my makeup. Um, it does come with a sponge and I think that when you apply it with a sponge, it applies way too much and it'll make you look cakey or just funky. I literally will take my fingers, I know that's not hygienic, or you can take like a disposable sponge and just lightly tap. You just need the, the smallest amount. And you take it and you just kind of rub it into wherever you need it. Sometimes, you know, like if you're cakey or you need to touch up, you literally just have to do this. You take, I mean, almost nothing and then you touch up this way. And, you know, you can put it in your oily spots, in your T-zone, anything, but you just have to just dab it on there and it will give you the most beautiful matte non cakey um, look ever and I really like this um, supposedly it comes it compares to the Mali I've never tried anything Mali so I can't tell you that but I can tell you that for my dry skin I really do love this as a primer and as a setter and then the last two things um, that I got are from Mac and I just got a little fix plus for my purse that way I can refresh um, during the day, you know, refresh my makeup, make sure nothing looks cakey if I have to, anything. And this was 10 bucks. And then I just got a lipstick. And this one is a satin lipstick and it's in the color Snob. And I will show you. I love MAC lipsticks. Oh, they're so beautiful. So here it is. I've only used it a few times so far, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like the perfect nude. And let me swatch it for you. So there it is. And actually, to be a dupe, go figure. This is Snob, and this is 101, the Kate Rimmel collection. So obviously, I gravitate to the same colors, my everyday colors. They are, you know, this one's a little more purple based, and this one's a little more pink, but not too much different. So yeah, that is my haul. Um, I will be doing first impressions on anything here um, that I haven't actually used that you know of. So if you want to see something, go ahead and just um, leave a message down below. Um, but for sure, I will be doing first impressions on this one and this one. And then I'll be, you know, letting you know how my eyebrow routine works out because that's very new to me. And um, if you want, I will swatch this stuff and, you know, with the um anti-lip feathering to see if that's something that you guys would be interested um just honorable mentions what's on my face right now is i have no foundation on i'm wearing the sephora golden spice blush and it's absolutely gorgeous it's very sparkly so that's why i like no foundation or anything that's what that looks like on my finger and then on my eyes, I'm wearing Sephora's um, eyeshadow in colorful, oh no, sorry, in ballet shoes, number 66. 
and this is very 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 shimmery as well a lot of fallout with sephora but it's it's got good color payoff very shimmery i think a lot of sephora eyeshadows and blushes are very very shimmery but they're very pretty as long as you blend it out and then just in the inner corner um i have a little bit of just matte black and that's pretty much it um the other thing that i have is for my um eyelashes and i started off with the makeup forever and this is just a birthday gift um uh, mascara and smoky extravagant so it looks like that and this is what the brush looks like so if you have a birthday coming up make sure that you sign up with sephora because you get a little sample size mascara and you get a lipstick from make forever and then i thought that that wasn't enough so i went in with my they real which was also a birthday perk at one point <clears throat> and this is from benefit so that's what that looks like and they're real are my favorite because i do love the brush and especially the spiky end to get into the you know the inner corner you get all your eyelashes but i found that this combination actually kind of gets clumpy if you can kind of see so i tried to help that with covergirl's clump brusher and the brush looks like this i was hoping that you know i'd kind of like fan it out and this is kind of like the result so not too bad but i think you have to really work at it you know to get it out um if anything i would more recommend maybe these two but um this on its own so that's pretty much it um if you have any questions or comments uh leave it down below like this video share this video and um i will be seeing you soon next video should be a review so i love you guys take care and see you soon